Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all signs. This is going to be for, uh, sorry, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Kind of centered there a little bit. <laughs> hope you guys are doing marvelous, Taurus. I hope you guys are as excited as I am, as we are uh, pretty much kicking off the season of holidays, right? So it's pretty exciting, as well as uh, preparing ourselves for the beginning of the new year. Now, I do want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations, whether it's a 30-minute telephone consultation or the video live reading, you guys can now go to our online store and schedule on there. Um, just keep in mind that we do have limited seating as soon as uh, we get completely full uh, for the month of December and January. We will no longer be accepting um, any any consultations so if you guys wait a little bit long or if you wait last minute you may not be able to schedule an appointment until further notice just letting you guys know okay all right decided to do that online so it could be easier for you guys just to go on there um, make your payment as soon as we receive the notification you guys will be getting uh, personal contact from me letting you guys know the available dates and times so that we can arrange the appointment so just letting you guys know okay let's get into your reading taurus let's see what spirit has for you guys spirit guides ancestors and archangels please step forward allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for taurus sun moon rising venus for the month of november 2021 what are the messages for taurus sun moon rising venus what is unfolding for them what is it that they need to know at this present time spirit guides ancestors and archangels thank you so much here we go all right Taurus, we're starting off with the Ace of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful. The next card is the Seven of Wands. The Hermit card. Oh, okay. Seven of Swords. Second time we get this, um, this card here. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Taurus. So we definitely have the expansion here. You guys are going to be experiencing a lot of blessings. Um, and I'm hearing unexpected blessings, Taurus. This month of November is going to be about um, being able to see or revelations are going to be unfolding for you guys. This is being able to see people's true nature. Um, you may actually catch a friend or someone that uh, you hold dear, someone that you respect or admire, that you consider a friend for some of you. Uh, you may actually hear them or catch them perhaps not speaking very nicely of you. Um, and it's almost like being thrown back because you were definitely not expecting this. But what Spirit is telling you is take that as a blessing. They're trying to open your eyes towards, towards people's intentions. They're trying to guide you um, to be able to fully see um, people as they are. Um, and again, it's almost a feeling of um, fe feeling let down, feeling like, oh my God, I can't believe that. You know, I just caught this person, I just caught my sister, I just caught my my cousin, my brother, my uncle. Um, you know, they were talking bad behind my back because they thought I wasn't there and I show up and that type of energy. But what Spirit is saying, again, is take this as a blessing. What they're trying to show you is that there are definitely new beginnings unfolding for you, Taurus. And with these new beginnings, it also uh, is very connected to... Uh, being able to see crystallized vision of uh, the new path or the new cycle that you're about to begin, where there is a lot of growth and a lot of expansion. Unfortunately, sometimes not everyone that started in the beginning will last to the very end. Do you see what I'm saying? What they're telling you is understand and acknowledge if people, if you've outgrown people, it's okay and do not feel like you have to apologize for it or do not feel like you have to make exceptions because you've known them or they've known you for a long time. Spirit is telling you, no, you got to be able to stand your ground. You got to be able to protect your energy. You got to be able to only allow those that have earned or have gained your trust and anyone that crosses that. Um, it may be heartbreaking. It may be very difficult, right? Uh, to be able to see that, to be able to acknowledge that. However, um, they're revealing this to you because they're wanting you to only have or be around those that are genuine and authentic. Why do you ask? Um, why do you ask this is happening? Well, 
because you have in the very beginning of the month and the very end, you have two aces. So these are major transformations. These are manifestations. These are being able to see accomplishments, goals, aspirations that you have, uh, being able to attain them. Not only that, but being able to set out on a new beginning, a new cycle. And again, what they're telling you is no distractions. They don't want people uh, being in your business or they don't want people that, like I said, you've outgrown um, to feel like you owe them your loyalty when clearly they're showing you um, otherwise. So again, pay attention to that. If you feel at some point, Taurus, like um, you feel bad because you're kind of pushing them away after this situation happens, um, stand your ground. And the reason I say that is because when we start to grow, when we start to expand, people that you can't 100% um, trust are usually letdowns, meaning if they've let you down once, they will let you down again. Should they really be around you at your best? Do you see what I'm saying? So pay attention to that and um, don't feel, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very like, we've known each other for so long. Like I've been best friends with this person for over 10 years. That's what I'm hearing. So when I hear that, it indicates to me that there's going to be a struggle here. There's going to be a struggle in regards to uh, having to set your boundaries or having to put your foot down. There's going to be a struggle of should I forgive them or should I overlook this? Um, and again, if you see here, we have the Hermit and the Seven of Wands. This is standing your ground. This is speaking up, uh, standing up for yourself. Uh, with the hermit, you're being guided, you're being illuminated to do this. Uh, so again, even if you feel like, you know, you don't have it in you, um, or you feel like you owe them loyalty at some in some way, shape or form, uh, regardless of, the, uh, of, you know, what's unfolding for you, what spirit is telling you is be wise. Because moving forward, there is expansion, there is growth, uh, there is financial stability or financial growth here. With the seven of swords, if the person betrayed you or lied, or spoke, but, uh, spoke bad about you uh, in the past, meaning what's unfolding now, more than likely it will happen in the future, especially when we're talking about finances. So no lending money, uh, no, you know, if a very close friend or relative asks you for a favor uh, for the month of November, um, basically, you know, say no, learn to say no. That's going to be very important, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see each other soon. Bye.